Let me get you up here. Hey, everybody. This is Katrina, the owner of Katheem Creations Recent Things. Hello, hello, hello. And I wanted to come on with you guys today and let's do this burlap Christmas winter wreath. Yeah, I wanted to do something with you guys. I've been meaning to do this wreath with you guys for a while now. And finally, I got a moment to come down here in the basement and get it done. Whew, I tell you. Whenever you plan to do something, something always knocks your plans out. So I didn't plan today, so hopefully we can get it done. But like I said, I wanted to do this burlap uh, Christmas winter wreath with you guys. We're going to use this sign here that says Jingle Bells, White Christmas, Ho Ho Ho, Hang, stock, hang Stockings, Oh Holy Night, Trim the Tree, Joy to the World. And it's got like burlap, uh, a per burlap like picture here of some stuff it's shiny red writing a Santa Claus hat and it's kind of rustic looking it looks really good I like I like this sign and I think I got this sign from Dollar Tree last year I didn't get it this year but last year I think this I got this from Dollar Tree we're going to use a 14 inch wire reframe that's from the Dollar Tree We're gonna I cut some felt pieces to have to get the back of the picture here done and ready to be attached to the frame. We got two zip ties here, so two zip ties. We got two of them. We have these uh, uh, shiny stars, they got glitter all on them, so white ones and red ones to go with the burlap and to go with the sign. So that's what we got to decorate. And I think these came from Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken. These were Hobby Lobby. We have some Chanel stencil pipe cleaners, whatever you want to call them. I have the tan color to match the burlap. You can use red, white, whatever color you want. I just kind of like to match my burlap. That's just me. I'm a little extra. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Um, we have a uh, stapler, and that's to staple four of these Chanel stems on the back of the sign to get it get it ready pair of scissors wire cutters and that's to cut off some of these goodie pieces that we're gonna put these little picks that I have here to go with the sign onto the reef when we're done and I'm not sure we're gonna do that we may leave it plain or we may add these picks and may add the snowflakes I'm not sure but we'll figure it out you know I like to figure it out as I go I, I let the reef tell me what it needs do it need snowflakes? Does it need picks? We'll figure that out as we go. All right, we're going to clean up and we're going to get ready to do what we need to do. So when you come in, you chime in with me. Make sure you say hello. Let me know where you're chiming in from. Let me know if you do read. So what type of crafts you do. I'm just trying to pull us up here on Facebook so I can see you guys so I can I can definitely see the comments when you come on so okay let's clean up let's get some picks out of the way we're gonna move these up here gonna move the picks up here but hey if you got that 14 inch you know me if you have a 14 inch wire frame you have a sign you have mesh or burlap get it because you know the style that I'm doing like I say all the time you can do it with any material you have on any style that you're doing you could be doing an Easter wreath right now it don't matter you can still do this style whatever mesh or burlap or poly burlap you have so you can go ahead and pull it out and let's make a wreath together I always like to make my wreaths with someone making a wreath too so okay let's get our signs these little things cut off Let's put this over here because we're gonna first thing we're gonna work on is we're gonna get this sign prepared. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Chanel stems, we're gonna take four of them, and we're gonna attach them to the back of the sign. We're gonna cut off this a little bit of this, just give it a little cut so it'll come off. Because we're gonna take that off, put that over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Chanel stem and what I do with the felt that I cut off here on the side is I actually I find the middle and with this one I really should do the old but I'm going to find the middle. If I need to add some more I can, I can always extend it. And then 
i actually wrap my burp my chanel stem in my burlap and the reason why i do that is because i don't want my staples this is kind of thin see how thin that is i don't want my th staples to come through my board so i kind of make this bulky so my staples won't come through the board that's why i'm using the felt so this is what i do here of course trusty jesse do glue gun you know i love my shore bonder glue gun so we start with a little bit of glue at the end and we're gonna put that over first just once we're gonna stick our chanel stem like right there after we flip it over once we got the chanel stem there but we're gonna put a little glue there let me know who you are when you chime in I would love to say hi to you love to say hi all right we're gonna we're gonna just wrap this up that's all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little glue and then just keep wrapping it that's all we're gonna do little glue keep wrapping it little glue keep wrapping it that's all we need to do and we're gonna do this all four times when we get to the end when we get to where it's glued at the bottom that's what we face down and we're gonna put a little glue where we're gonna attach it at. And then we're gonna staple it down. We take our stapler, whatever stapler you wanna use. And that way when you staple it, you don't see no staples coming through the top. If you look at it, there's no staples coming through the top. If I even put it on the side, see? You see no staples coming through the top. And that's why we beef up the back, so no staples will come through the top. Let's do the other ones. How's everybody's Tuesday? I hope everybody's Tuesday was good. Ugh. And we're right here for holiday season. Hope everybody finished doing their shopping. If you're not a last minute shopper. I don't know how much stuff is out there that's left. If you're still shopping now, guess you just have to get some gift cards, huh? Because not too much stuff left out now I mean it wasn't too much before we always all in that pinch with you know all of our stuff being on ship ship barges and stuff not getting no supplies hopefully you was able to get everything that you wanted to get for your loved ones for Christmas Okay, let's wrap this last this one up here now we're to the back and now we're going to attach this to the picture here the back of the frame of the picture you put a little bit of dab of glue here this is where you're going to stick it at press it down and then you just take the stapler and you give it a good press down and there you go we're going to move on to the next one Today was a busy day at work today. We had kids leaving early from school today. So it was kind of busy. So we were running around at work today. I hope everybody else's day was easier than mine because it was quite busy. But every now and then it's like that. Alright, we're just trying to get these pieces done so we can attach it to the back of our sign. We want to get this done first. That way this can be nice and dry when it's time to attach it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the outside, around the rim of the felt with a little bit more glue. Just to tack it down just a little more, just a little added security. Now you don't have to do this. If you know me, if you see me do my videos, you know I'm a little extra. And I always do a little extra and you do not have to do this part but I like to make sure that it doesn't come off so you're gonna put a little bit of glue here I'm gonna push it down take the staple gun and staple it down got a little glue on my hand get that off let's wrap up the last one 
Uh oh, got the glue strands. Can't stand those things. Ooh. All right. Let's get the felt here. We want to wrap it once. And I don't know why I wrap it once. I just I just seem to like that. It just makes it thicker to me. Like I said, I'm a little extra. Y'all know I'm a little extra. I do little extra steps. I like this sign that that we're doing today because this this wreath can actually stay up on your door throughout Christmas and it can stay on your door after Christmas. This is a Christmas winter wreath. I really like this 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 sign because this wreath can actually stay up until February March to the end of February beginning of March when you're ready to put your spring stuff up or Easter stuff up. So that's what I like about this sign. That this wreath can last a while on your door without you having to take it down right away all right I'm gonna try to pull some of this glue off of my, my stapler now we put it back up we're gonna glue these and like I said this is not something you have to do it's just something I do I like to make sure everything is secure the back of the sign make sure this is secure to the back of the sign so I just add a little extra glue and by the time we get to this it'll be all nice and dry okay we put the sign over and it's glue strands everywhere so just look past the glue strands all right now we're going to get to our frame and this is what we're going to do with our frame we're going to just go to the middle two bars see the middle two bars on the outside the middle two bars on the outside and we're going to wrap a Chanel stem around them in the middle in the middle of these two this section right here we're going to go to the two outside bars in the middle and we're going to secure the Chanel stems by giving it a twist one two twist one two and that's up there like this see it and what, we, what I like to do is I like to measure where my next one is going to be. So I'll pull these two Chanel stems together. I'll bend them over. And wherever it stops is where I put my next Chanel stem. Some people don't do it like this. They just put three in a section and they go that way. I, I, I did that. I, it makes my reef seem a little thin. So I don't do it that way anymore. I like this way. It adds one or two extra pieces on the reef and it just fills it up for me. Like you see how that adds that butts up to that, right? And we can move it over a little bit if we want. So now we're going to go over to the very next one. Wherever this ends at is where you put your next Chanel stem. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing okay. By the way, I have a wreath making class, in-person wreath making class coming up this Thursday at the clubhouse where I live at, which is Harmony and the Lakes in Canton, Georgia. This Thursday starts at 6 p.m. and it'll last about an hour, hour and a half. It's a very easy wreath. If you want to join, you can go to my Venmo and that's Katheme Creations dash without the dot com is dash one so for theme creations dash one and you just pay for your spot once you pay for your spot the telephone if you go to my um, Facebook page you'll see the flyer and my telephone number is attached to it and you could just send me a text and tell me which bow you want now at the end of this I'll show you the reef that we're going to be making I'll show you the different bows that way you can see what I'm talking about if you don't know but yes, I am hosting an in-person wreath making class this Thursday. The clubhouse in my subdivision, which is, I'll give you the address, which is 297 Harmony Lake Drive, Canton, Georgia. 297 Harmony Lake Drive, Canton, Georgia. And that's this Thursday at 6 p.m. And I would love for you guys to come. I still got spots available. So I would love for you guys to come. The class that I put on in my workspace, the ladies loved it. They enjoyed themselves. And guess what? This is the event is a BYOB. So hey, come. Have your favorite drink. 
bring a friend, hang out for an hour or two, and have a good time. And meet me. Come on. Come on now. You gotta come meet me. Have a good time with me. So now we're gonna go on the inside to bar. See, we went all around the outside. So now we're gonna go to the inside. So I'll move this out the way. You want the inside two bars now. Inside two bars. And you're gonna take a Chanel stem and you're gonna go in between. It don't matter which one. Start in between one of them. So in between these two, you're gonna go in the middle and we're gonna put the Chanel stem. We're gonna put the Chanel stem. When you check in, make sure you say hello. Let me know you're checking in. Let me know you're checking in. All right, so you know what we do. What we did in the bottom, we bent it, we push the Chanel stems down to the side. Wherever it ends is where we add our next Chanel stem. Where we add our next Chanel stem. Like some, some designers, they just go in between each one and that's all they do and that's fine. If that's how you want to do it, you can do it that way. It's absolutely fine. I'm a little extra. That's just me. And I put a little bit more on my ribs because I just like them to be nice and full. So when you when you checking in with me, make sure you say hello. Let me know where you checking in from. Let me know if you do any crafts, what kind of crafts you do. Let me know if you've done a burlap wreath before. You've done something like this before. I would love to know. Tell me what kind you've done. Today we're working on a Christmas winter wreath. And this wreath can stay up on your door or wherever you hang it at all the way up until you're ready to put up your spring stuff, your Easter, your spring stuff. So we're just going to go around these two inner rings until we fill it up with these pipe cleaners. And I think that's all we're going to do because see that one meets up to that one pretty close, right? So that's it. So we wind up having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We wind up having 14. 14. So we got 14 of them here on this wreath frame. So now we have the frame together. Put these Chanel stems to the end. Put my scissors over to the side. We're going to get to the good stuff, which is the burlap. Now this burlap came from Walmart. And I don't know if the camera would focus. There you go. Um, that's how much we paid for it. I paid for it. And that's what it looks like at Walmart. Of course, by now, you know, nobody really has any Christmas stuff left in their stores. So it's not going to be there now. Um, but whenever you want to find this um, during the season, Walmart, I normally get this from Walmart. Now, I guess you can find it on Amazon if you want to look and see if it's on Amazon. I'll hold it up again. Um, uh oh. See if you can find it on Amazon and you can get it on Amazon. But this is what we're going to do today. So, how we're going to start this is we're going to actually work on the inside first. Not normally I work on the outside, but we're going to work on the inside first. The inside is the inside two rings the inside two rings we're going to work on these chanel stems on the inside that's what we're going to do first how we're going to get it started is we're just going to bunch up the end of the burlap and when you bunch up the end of the burlap you want one end when you do this end to be down you want this end to be down okay what i mean by down is it's curled down this is curled down see the end of it is towards the board okay and we're going to put it into an inside Chanel stem. And we're going to give it a good twist. Okay? Push it down and give it a good one, two twists. Now, what we also want to do with that is we're going to secure it with one of our zip ties. Remember the two zip ties I had over here on the side? We're going to take one of these zip ties. You're going to go around the bottom, underneath it. And we're going to secure it to the reframe and we're just doing this to make sure it doesn't move a slide um, just to make sure it's nice and secure to the frame you can put it through the burlap if you like I'm just going around it 
so that's nice and tight up there now it's not going anywhere and I'll show you what it looked like on the back that's what it looks like on the back it's nice and tight around that burlap the burlap is secure to the frame now now I'm gonna do poofs this is gonna be a poof method wreath okay so I'm gonna go out from 10 to 20 so I'm going out to 20 so from 10 to 20 I'm doing 10 inch poofs all the way around because I don't want my poofs to be too big this is a 14 inch frame 10 inches is good for me now you can do 11 you can do 12 or you can go down to 8 on whatever you want to do I'm doing 10 inch poofs so I'm, I have my where my Chanel where my uh, pipe cleaner is this is on 10 and then I slid my finger over to the 20 okay and we're going to go to the very next pipe cleaner that's available and we're going to push this right down into that pipe cleaner and we're going to give it a one two twist and we're going to do the same thing we want to make sure these ends are tucked down we're going to make sure these ends are tucked down these ends of the burlap right here is tucked down so they're tucked down we got the pipe cleaner on 10 and we slide and I hand down the burlap to the 20 and we go into the very next Chanel stem and they may move a little bit that's okay we'll fix it we'll fix it don't worry about it don't stress over it some people like to stress don't stress over it give it a good twist and we just keep going around the, the frame this is all we're gonna do we're gonna go around the frame hopefully this is enough if it's not I have this one and we can add it I'll show you that if we need to we gotta go to the 10 and we're slotting our hands to the 20 and we just push it down when you put it there you push it down so the pipe cleaner can get a good hold okay now I'm not fluffing anything yet you can fluff as you go if you like I like the fluff at the end so I'm not fluffing anything yet so I put my pipe cleaners on 10 I run my hand down to the 20 make sure my burlap is tucked under tucked down and we go to the very next Chanel stem and you push it all down and you give it a good twist now this is burlap so it's, it has fibers so if that bothers you you may want to wear a mask they don't bother me but if I was doing this all day every day long all day long with this burlap I would wear a mask being that I only use burlap every so often it don't really bother me so but if you were doing burlap all the time or burlap the fibers bother you please get a mask wear a mask when you're handling burlap that way it doesn't bother you okay now almost finished we're going around we got to do one more now we're going back to where we started this is where we started so we're just gonna just attach just make this loop to this one right here I'll show you For some reason my computer keeps acting up but here you go so we're gonna that remember the Chanel stem got to, it's on 20 I mean on 10 and we slide a hand over to 20 and then we go on over to this Chanel stem. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to untwist this. Remember, it won't come out because we got that zip tie holding it down. So I untwist it. And then I just place this right down on top of it. You got to push it down really well and you give it a good twist. And that way that's secure. Now, we're going to head down to the the next the outside the outside ring now so we're gonna move this one over out of the way so now we see where that bottom one is and we're just going to go straight down to that we're not going to do a loop we're not going to do a poof I mean we're gonna go straight down and attach our burlap to this one here see that one right here that's right under it we're going to go straight down to it so we open it up and we go straight down to it And then we just start going around doing our poofs. Remember, 10 inch poofs. So we put that Chanel stem is on 10. We gather the burlap, run our hand down to 20, and we go right over to the next Chanel stem. And we are on the outer rings now. The outer rings. Now 
and you can actually push all of these to the inside the ones you just did push them to the inside so they can be out your way and you can move these Chanel stems out so you, they can be ready for you okay I'm just moving these out of the way so now we go to the 10 we go over to the 20 we open up this Chanel stem and we just twist it down in there don't forget when you check in let me know you're checking in with me <clears throat> let me know let me know if you do any crafts let me know where you're checking in from we're gonna go over to the 20 we got the this, this pipe cleaner right here at 10 we over to the 20 and then we go to the very next pipe cleaner getting a little low on burlap we'll see what happens let's see if we make it I don't know we're gonna go over to 10 run our hands down to 20 yeah we're gonna have to add some burlap so I will show you guys that's perfect because then I can show you guys how to do that because these rolls are not uh, they're only what's this uh, 15 feet they're not 30 feet so you're gonna run out they're not long enough so we at 10 we got to go over to 20 and the very next Chanel stem we got to go to 10 go over to 20 now see this is the end of it so let's see what happens this is 10 go over to 20 and press it down and make a good twist now we need to add some burlap because we got one two three more to go right so we just open this up and what I like to do is I just like to glue the piece on that's all I like to do now you can cut this here and then gather it and add it here you can do that if you want to that that is perfectly fine nothing wrong with that um, I'm thinking maybe I may do that because of this crease here it's gonna be in my poof I don't really want that crease in my poof so I may just go ahead and cut it off and then I'll just re-add the new one so we're gonna do that way so being that this has a crease in it right here when I try to use it as a poof you're gonna see that crease and I don't want no one to see that crease I want it to all look like the rest of them nice and smooth so I'm gonna cut this down right here and I'm gonna get another pipe cleaner I mean a, a zip tie and what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather this new one I'm going to go in about an inch see how you ha have this down this down this pointing down and this pointing down that's how you want it now I'm going to go right on top of this well really I'm going to open up the Chanel stem I'm going to be careful and open up the Chanel stem because I don't want the piece to come all out so I'm holding it as I open it up now I got it open but I'm still pinching it. I'm still holding it I hope you guys can see that I'm still holding it I'm gonna place this right on top which I'm gonna push to the side so it can kind of go under and then I'm gonna take this Chanel stem and I'm gonna twist it okay so I, I took this top piece and I pushed it to the side because we're gonna tuck that under so and I'm holding it real tight pushing it down I'm giving it a good twist then I'm gonna take this zip tie and I'm gonna secure this to the frame I'm gonna go around the bottom come around the top of that piece and I'm gonna do the same to the other end as well so I got the, the zip tie across the piece that I just attached and I'm gonna flip it over so you can see and I'm going to attach it really tight to the frame there you go 
So now I'm going to do the same on the other end. Remember we got this loose end on this side. So now I'm going to take another pipe cleaner. Hey. I'm going to take another pipe cleaner and I'm going to attach this end down to the frame as well. We're going to go from underneath over the top and then secure it. And I'm going to flip it around so you can see it. Just trying to make sure I got it over as far as I need to have it over. All right. And we're going to secure this in. And it's over. Try to get it over really far, right to where that pipe cleaner is. And we secured it. And we can go ahead and take the pipe cleaner, I mean, the wire nippers, and just cut those off. All right, now we can continue. That was like we never even stopped. So then we take that end. Matter of fact, let me cut some of these off. We take that end of the new one we just added and we just tuck it under. We're going to tuck that under. Nobody will know. We're going to tuck it under. Now you see how that disappeared? Gone. Vanished. Vanished. Okay, let's finish making this wreath. So we're going to take this pipe cleaner and we're going to put it on number 10. And we're going to go over to 20 and we're going to make sure this burlap, the ends are pointing down. And we go over to the next Chanel stem. Push it down. And we give it a good one, two twists. We go over to the next one. We go to the 10. Remember this starts at the 10. Go over to the 20. Chanel stem. Push this down. And give it a one, two twist. And we're to the end, right where we started at. So remember we came down from the top when we finished here. We came down and we secured it right here. This is exactly where we are. We're right at the beginning of this bottom here. So this is where we attached it when we finished this top row. We came down and we attached it here. So now we're about to finish up there. So we're going to put this Chanel stem on 10. Run our hands down to 20. We're going to open this up just a little bit. And we're going to put the burlap right down in there. And we're going to give it a good push down. Push it down really, really good. And give it a good tight twist. And there you are. Look at that. There you are. You have the makings of a wreath. So now we're going to cut some of this off. We're going to go out. I, I normally go out maybe three, four inches. And this is what you have left. See that much left. Put that over here on the side. And then you can take this end part here and just tuck it under. You can also attach this to your frame if you like to, but you can just take it and tuck it under. Tuck it under. Now what we can do is we can actually fluff. So now we can go through and like I said, some some people like to fluff as they go. I like to wait to the end. So we're just going along the outside, or you can do the inside. You do it as you go. This is the inside. Now, I don't think I'm going to attach anything to these Chanel stems. So we can actually twist them off and then lay them, tuck them back under. So I'll show you. We only twist it once or twice. We twist it probably another two times to make sure we take our wire cutters here we snip it off and then we can just lay it flat down in it remember it's the same color as the burlap so you're not going to see that when you fluff it you're not going to see that so you just give it a couple more twists around just to make sure it's nice and tight Cut off the excess with your wire uh, cutters and you just tuck it down. Do that here. Give it a couple of good twists. Make sure it's nice and tight. Wire cutters. And then you just tuck this down. 
Now, if you was attaching something, you wanted to put a pick in and you wanted to use uh, the Chanel stems to attach it to the, to the wreath, then you just keep the Chanel stems up. You twist the Chanel stems and use it as a, a, a helper to have it attached to the, to the, um, the wreath. But we're not, we're not doing that. This is a beautiful burlap, so we really don't want to cover it too much. Like, like I told you, I have the, the, um, the, uh, snowflakes and a little curly cues, but I don't even know if I'm going to use it. After we put this, fluff this up and then put the sign on, I'll decide what, what we should do. Cause I just love this burlap. So we're going to go through and just cut all of this first before we start fluffing because as you can see we're pushing and mashing it down trying to get this all twisted up and make sure it's nice and tight so how's everybody doing today everybody's doing good this we're doing a burlap Christmas winter wreath um, we have a 14 inch wire frame we have uh, the 10 inch burlap with red uh, snowflakes on it we have some Chanel Sims and we use I think four um, zip ties that's all you need oh and a sign don't forget your sign now if you, you you just doing this without a sign then you don't have a sign you don't have to have a sign for everything and I'm not doing a bow tonight ladies and gentlemen this did like I said I love this mesh and I don't want to cover it up too much so I'm not doing a bow with this at all but you can if you feel like you want a bow you can do a bow absolutely so if you want to do a bow you can do a bow I'm not but these are your options that's what I said in the beginning go get your 14 inch frame get your deco mesh get your poly burlap make the wreath with me and you can dress it up any way you want to this is a basic way to make a wreath and you can dress it up any way you want to all right we're almost done I think we're making it around this we've made our way around all right we have now we're gonna start fluffing all of these can go to garbage so you can go on the inside and what you do is you just stick your hands under it and you just fluff it out and what I like to do is kind of take those ends and tuck them down and give it a good fluff and you do this all the way around you open up the burlap all the way around and you go any any direction you want to you can go this way or that way I'm going to go around this way and you just pull the ends from underneath and you just run your fingers under it and fluff it up. Tuck in those, those ends as best you can. And you just go around the reef doing this. If you push one down, that's fine. We're we putting a sign up here so it's going to lay down a little bit. So you pull it apart and then you just tuck it under. You go to the ends and you just tuck it under. Pull them apart, tuck them under. Not hard to do at all. You see how nice and full that is? This is nice and full. Nice and full reef. Now if we got holes in our wreath, I'll show you how I fix that as well. And we just may have holes in it sometimes with this burlap it's not as full you know you see little little gaps little holes and we don't want to see our frame so I will show you how to fix that if we have any and I think we may have some so we will fix that don't worry about it don't stress don't stress don't want anybody stressing no stressing when you're making reefs you got to enjoy yourself I wish somebody would have told me that when I first got started because I used to stress a bunch a bunch okay 
think this is it and we're going to tuck this down now if this wants to continue to pop up which it probably will because it's burlap so it's stiff so what we do is we get another zip tie and we zip tie it down so let me reach and get another zip tie We're going to go from the bottom, go around the top of that, the end of that burlap. And we're going to move it over as close as we can to the Chanel stem. And we're going to zip tie it close. Zip tie it tight. Let's tie it real nice and tight. Okay. All right. Cut that off. And then we just fluff that right on top of there. Look at that. You have yourself a beautiful reef. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Now there's some holes in it, and we're going to use our glue gun and we're going to patch those holes right up you won't even see them but that's it that's the basis of it now once you put the sign on look at that gorgeous just the way it is like i said i don't know if i'm going to use these or not i may i don't know if i'm going to use these i may i don't know but i just like that just the way it is fluff out some spaces and you got yourself a gorgeous wreath. This is a winter wreath. You can have this up for Christmas, and then this can stay on your door, your window, your wall, wherever you have it at, up until you're ready to change the decorations to spring, Easter, you know, summer. This can stay up. It's gorgeous. All right. Let me show you what I do with, with the holes. Now... What I do is wherever I see a hole or maybe a hole, I actually take the burlap and fold it over on each other and just put a little dab of glue. So then when you look at it, you see, you don't see no hole. You don't see no hole. So what I do is where I folded it at, I put a little dab of glue, just a little. You don't need to put a lot, just a little dab of glue. And then you hold it there. Now be, be, be careful because the glue is hot. So be careful, blow it a little bit, but that closes up that hole. And you go around your reef and you see if it's any other holes, like over here is another hole, we're gonna close that up. So this is dry now, I can let that go. Over here, there's another little hole, see that hole there? We're just gonna take the burlap and you may have to go from underneath you have to pull these burlap, these ends up here. And that closes that gap. So you got one piece that's on this side. And then you got a piece on this side that we're going to attach. And you're not going to see that hole anymore. You're not going to see that hole anymore. And you just use a little bit of glue. Just a little bit of glue. That's all you do. And you're not going to see that hole. You see the hole is gone. That hole we were looking at is gone. That's how easy that is. You don't want to keep using a whole bunch of burlap. Like sometimes with the deco mesh being that it's thinner, you can do a third row. And that can fill in these gaps really well. But when you're using burlap, it's such a thick material, you got to find another way to fill up those gaps. And if you're not going to use a lot of uh, picks or ribbon like you see we have no ribbon in here the ribbon would have covered those gaps and some of these picks might cover the gaps but I haven't decided whether I'm going to use the picks or not so I can't lean on the picks if I don't know if I'm going to use it or not so we're not going to worry about the picks right now we're just going to fill up the gaps like I said, just a little bit of glue. You tack it in where the burlaps meet. And that hole is gone. Look at that. Hole is gone. And it looks good. That hole there is gone. And it looks good. You don't see glue anywhere. You don't see nothing. 
that looks like it was pieced together none of that so I'm looking around I don't see nothing here we need to fluff out just a little bit more and burlap has got a mind of its own it's a little it's thick so you have to make it go where you want it to go like this look like this can be like a little hole over here right so what we're going to do is we're going to tack that this piece in here to that piece right there and it seems a little tedious and you don't have to do this this is just me I like to make sure there's no holes in my wreath so I do this little extra step not something you have to do at all those holes could not even bother you they'd be perfectly fine you put your sign on it's nobody really going to see it now they really looking all through your wreath they'll see that there's little spaces in between but if you was to hang this on your door your window nobody would know they're not they're not coming up on your door and your window and dissecting your wreath but if you're selling your wreaths I would suggest that you you do this you want it you want it to look its best you want it to look really nice and full and you want it to be nice and full so this looks good there's no holes there and we're just going through with fluffing making sure everything is fluffed well and this right here is like two pieces on top of each other. And this one right here, we're going to have to attach. Like this, there's no holes. See, there's no holes there. So you want to make sure there's no holes. In this area it looks like it can be like a little gap here as so I'm trying to fluff it a lot of times when you fluff it it covers the gaps you don't have to worry about it but sometimes you just gotta put just a little dab of glue glue and you get it all all finished all straightened out so we're just gonna close up this little gap right here just a little like I said you just use a little bit of glue that's all you need a little bit of glue you don't use a lot of glue just a little bit of glue we're gonna attach a sign and I don't know if we're gonna even use anything else I think it looks beautiful just with the sign in the burlap in the background I think that's that's about all we're gonna do just to recap we're doing a burlap Christmas winter wreath and we're, we're doing it on a 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath frame uh, we have this mesh here that we um, brought from Walmart when it was when Christmas stuff was in we got this at Walmart we have this sign that we're going to attach to it and we have some snowflakes up here some white and some red not sure if we're going to use them and we have some white and red picks here not sure if we're going to use them either but this is the wreath that we're working on we have 10 inch poofs all the way around the wreath so that's the method that we use we use the poof method today so it's 10 inch poofs all the way around the wreath with this with this burlap material now these have to be just glued a little bit because this little space here. That's fine. And then you get here and you see a space. So we'll just take our time and we just go through it. No big deal. We'll get it. Put a little bit of glue. And like I said, in the inside, down in the inside, you put a little bit of glue where it can't be seen. You attach the two pieces of burlap and be careful because the glue is hot. So be careful how much you touch it. 
when you're attaching it together because the glue is hot and this is burlap so it has holes all through it so the glue will seem through onto your hands so be careful when you get the glue on your hands you just rub it off your hands it comes right off your hands it's a hole here so just know don't get crazy because you see holes all through your reef look at this now we're patching up these holes we put this up here and that's going to look great that's going to look absolutely gorgeous look at that it's going to look great this needs to be fluffed up some right here we're going to put a little bit of glue here on this inside and we're going to pick up the inside of this from the bottom and we're just going to push it over that's what we're going to do and we're going to close up the holes that's how you close up the holes especially using this not unless you want to do an extra roll of burlap um i don't think there's no need to do it you just take your time and go back through it and you just do a little pinch of glue just close up the holes it's not not nothing bad at all. You're closing up the holes with just a little bit of glue is fine. And it's still going to look great. It's not like you got glue all over your, your wreath frame and, you know, it looks clumpy and nasty and stuff. No, absolutely not. It looks great. So when you're watching this video, this, this tutorial, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, please like, share, follow. If you're watching a replay, please hit replay. Let me know you're watching a replay. I get notifications every time somebody types a comment in. I am notified. If you have a question, please type it in, whether you're watching it now, whether you're watching it in replay. That way I can answer your question. I get notified every time somebody comments so you can ask me a question and I will definitely get back to you but if you're on now please let me know you're on say hello type in the comments let me know what you where you're watching me from where you're chiming in at from where you watching the video at let me know if you finish your Christmas shopping Ooh. That's right around the corner now. I think it's one more weekend this weekend. That's it. I'm shopping before Christmas. Ooh. So those of you that's not ready, I know that's scary. I'm just holding this down, just closing up some gaps. That's all we're doing. This is the longest. This is the longest thing right here. Is just going through and just closing up the gaps. Just want to make sure the gaps are in it. Like I said, this is not something you have to do at all. This is just something I do. And I know I hear a lot of people, they complain, oh, you can see through the reef, you can see the frame. You know, you don't want, you know, people to see the frame, which is which is true, you don't. So the question is, you know, what do you do when that happens? Like, what do you do? How do you fix that? So I'm showing you how to fix that. This is how you fix that. Put the glue on make sure you just put a little bit all it takes is a little bit you don't need a lot of glue at all just a little bit of glue because you don't want to have a lot of you don't want glue showing all throughout your reef then it looks it looks sloppy you don't want no sloppy reef so you just want a little bit of glue and this this hot glue gun just this glue dries really quick 10 seconds 10 15 seconds you're good this right here got this end here we want to pick it up so I don't know we want to that looks better there so you want to close that up so we're going to put a little glue here and we want to close up close that up like I said be careful
does have pores, it's, you know, it's burlap, so that glue will get to your skin. I don't want nobody burning themselves. Not at all. And we're almost done with this part. I think we got this one section over here, and I think we have made our way around the wreath. This is a time consuming part here, just making sure you get all the gaps. But I wanted to show you guys that because I get questions, a lot of questions like what do you, you know, what do you do with the gaps? And you can also do this method when I'm showing you how to close up the gaps. You can do this with, with deco mesh. But a lot of times with deco mesh you're using you have the deco mesh and then you have, you know, you're doing several layers of deco mesh, so that kind of gets covered pretty well. So you don't have to do it with the deco mesh as much. But if you're not using that much deco mesh and you want coverage, this is one way you can get the coverage. But no, a deco mesh is much thinner, so you have to be careful where you put the glue at, right? You don't want the glue being seen. The deco mesh, you, you can see it, you know? So you, you got to be careful where you put the glue at when you're doing deco mesh, okay? Because you will definitely see the glue when you're using deco mesh. You'll see it. So you want to be careful about that. But you can do it. Know that you can do it. Um, I know I have. I ran out of a certain um, deco mesh. Ran out of it. Went to the store. They didn't have any more. So I had to close up the gaps. I wasn't using another color. So that's what I, this is what I did. I just pinched it closed on each other. And it stayed. And I glued it. And it was fine. Ultimately, you, you want to just, you can just use some more deco mesh if you have it. I didn't have it, so I had to find a way to close up the gaps. Had to find a way. And that's what I came up with, which worked out perfectly. Which worked out perfectly. Now we have a gap right here. So we're going to close that gap up. And there's a lot of times you just hold the hold the mesh onto each other. And like I said, be careful where you put your hands at. Because you did put glue there, you will burn your hands. So please be careful with that. Be very careful where you put the glue and then you put your hands. Don't want you guys getting burnt. I can show you a mark right here. Skin just barely growing back right here. That, that was a nasty, nasty burn. Took a couple layers of my skin off with that burn. I don't want nobody else going through that. That was not nice at all all right look at that look at that the holes are closed the holes are closed there you go now if you see some from the top trust me when we put the, the sign up you're not going to see anything nothing is going to be seen but I think I see a real big gap here, so we're going to close that gap up. I just saw that. And we're going to close that gap up. Put a little glue. That's all you do. Then close that gap up. Trying to see if I see another gap. Nope, I think that was the only one that you can actually see the frame. Yeah. There you go. So this is gorgeous. I love this burlap. This burlap is so pretty. What do you guys think? I really love this burlap. I think it is so pretty. So, so pretty. Just saw another spot like right in here. Right in here. Like I said, this is a time consuming part where you just just trying to make sure everything looks good. So you just go through it. Make sure everything looks good. And we're going to attach the sign. And we may do some curly cues around the outside. I don't know. And if we do that, then we'll just, you know, we just stick it in the burlap. And we'll just glue it to the burlap. So there you go. There you go. Gaps. 
all gaps closed now all gaps closed now do a little more fluffing a little bit more fluffing you can always fluff when you fluff it's just like when you have your your ribbon tails you'll be fluffing and fluffing and fluffing so now we're gonna put on our sign I think that's a good spot right there yeah like that spot right there and I want it right in the middle so we're gonna move it over just a tad let me see what it looks like mm -hmm. and now we're gonna just take our Chanel stems and feed it through the burlap remember this burlap is a little it's a little thick but you can get through it with your Chanel just an, um, your pipe cleaners or Chanel stems so just feed it through and, and sometimes you can just use the openings that you're at it's a little opening you can use the opening if not you just go through the burlap it's not hard just go through the burlap and what you do is when you first put it on, you just give it a good like one, two twist in the back. Don't pull it down tight. Just a just a one, two twist in the back. Okay? Just to secure it so you can see if this is really where you want the sign to go. So you just feed it through the burlap. Your one end down, and then you do the next. And you just twist it once or twice in the back. You don't twist it real tight. You just twist it enough where it's, it's being held. All right, it's not flopping around. And that's what you want. It's being held, not flopping around. I really like how this came out. What do you guys think? This is gorgeous with this burlap. This sign with this burlap. I mean, it just matches perfectly. Perfectly. This is a great winter wreath. You know, and you can put it up for Christmas. It'll go for Christmas. And then you just keep it up. Throughout the winter. You just keep it up. I think it's a great reef to have. Alright. This is the last one. And we're just giving it a light twist in the back. And I'll show you what it looks like in the back. So this is the, the these two. This is for the sign, and these two are for the sign. The rest is the burlap. That's where you attach the burlap. So we didn't tighten it, tighten it. We just tighten it enough for the sign to hold. Because we want to make sure the position is where we want it. This is with the position where we want it. So there we go. Now, let's decide whether we want to do some little curly cues. Let me cut some off. But I love that. What do you guys think? When you come on and you watching this, please type replay. If you watch this on a replay, please let me know what you think about it. I love this. I love how this came out. Looks great. Look at that. Of course, you can fluff some more. All up here at the top. Always fluff and fluff some more. Where the ties are it holds the burlap down but you just go under and you can just fluff them out and they'll be fluffed out but we can actually put in some little curly cues to give it a little something we can let's see what they look like let's get some red and some white ones let's see what they look like let's see if we want to do these not sure if we will yet but let's see. And what 
what I do is I just pull them up a little bit. We can do a little here. We can do one here. Give it a little height. Do a red one here. Do a red one on the top. red one on the top but we would do it where it's kind of standing up on its own leaning just a little bit not sure if I want to do that I think I just want to leave it plain let's see what the what snowflake look like oh the snowflakes look nice let's see what these look like I do like the snowflakes. I do love the snowflakes. Now I do love the snowflakes. We may go with the snowflakes and not the curly cues. So we can do a snowflake here and there. Let's do snowflake here. Let's do another red one over here. Let's do a white one here. White one here. And that way we have the snowflakes coming around the sign. I like that. And what we do is we just attach the snowflake to the burlap. That's all we do is we just glue it, the snowflake to the burlap. And that's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna attach the snowflake to the burlap. Give it a nice look. But I'm, I'm liking how that look right here. Just give it a really nice pop of color nice contrast with the sun and there you go ladies and gentlemen we're done we're done beautiful beautiful christmas winter wreath what do you guys think i think it came out great absolutely great all i'm gonna do to this is i'm gonna hit it with just a little dab of glue in the back that's it and this wreath is done this wreath is finished so if you're watching me on Facebook, please like, share, follow. If you're watching me on YouTube, please subscribe. I really need you guys to subscribe to help my business grow. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, I'm on TikTok as well. Please like, please share on TikTok. I need that. And also with Pinterest and also with Instagram, do the same. Follow, definitely uh, like, and also share with those uh, those social media pages as well. So I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed me staying with me and watching me make this wreath. It's a very easy wreath to make. I love the material. If you work with burlap, please let me know you work with burlap. Take a picture. Let me see what you've done with that burlap. I love working with burlap. But remember what I told you. If the fibers bother you, make sure you put on a mask. That way you won't have to worry about it because it is got a lot of fiber. It does have a lot of fibers coming off of it. So you may want to wear a mask, especially if you use burlap a lot. So, until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to be safe, and hopefully I'll be back to see you soon. Oh, don't forget, I have my wreath-making class this Thursday, this Thursday, um, at the clubhouse in my subdivision, which is Harmony on the Lakes, and the, the address is 297 Harmony Lake Drive, and the wreath, in-person wreath-making class is in the clubhouse, and it will start at 6 p.m. at the clubhouse. The class will probably be about an hour, hour and a half. It's a BYOB event. So, hey, come have something to drink. Bring a friend. Come hang out for an hour. Have some fun with me. Have some fun with some neighbors. And just put a pretty wreath together. You have to remember, sometimes wreaths that you, things that you make have more value than what you buy. Especially during this holiday season and you want to give somebody something. There's always that person on your list where you're not quite sure what you should get for. Either mother-in-law, a great-grandparent, a grandparent parent 
um, you know, a, a friend that you haven't seen in a long time and doing a wreath is something they, it would be unexpected and something they can have for years, especially if they take care of it. They will always think of you when they see it. So if you feel like meeting me and joining me, you just go to my uh, Venmo, which is Katheme Creations dash one, Katheme Creations dash one, look under your business section in your Venmo, pay for the class, and on the flyer on my Facebook page, there is my telephone number, and you can text me which bow you want, and I'll show you. You either, this is the wreath we're going to be making, this one right here, and it's going to be the gnome bow, which is this one right here, the gnome bow, which is the green, red, and white one, or you can have the Santa bow, which is the red, silver, and black bow. So you just text me which bow you want. After you pay on my um, Venmo, you text me which one, and I will have your mesh cut, your frame already ready for you, your mesh cut, and your bow done. All you have to do is show up and have a good time with your friends. That's all you have to do. Show up. I'll show you how to put it together, and you have a good time with me and your friends. Hopefully, I will see some of you guys there this Thursday. You can, if you can get back to me, you know, uh, go ahead and uh, Venmo me your, the money so I can have your spot available so it doesn't sell out on you. So if you can do that as soon as possible, that would be great. And that way I have time to do your bow. I only have two days left, so make sure you get with me so I can get your bows together. But until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to be safe. Bye.